Well, good morning folks, Ron Bishop here from the Timaru Directory website and I'm standing out, I'm out of Geraldine and I'm standing on the corner of Templar Street and Main North Road. It is Main North Road, yep. And a sign over here that says Scott's Sawmillers. Let's go and have a look at it. There it is, Scott's Sawmillers, treated timber and posts, yard sales. Caution, machines are working, enter at your own risk. Number 23, Main North Road. There you are, this is where you send all the checks to, 23 Main North Road. There's his letterbox. And we're going over here to meet Gerald Scott. And these are the logs, this is what we see from the road. So we're going across here, we're going to meet Gerald and he's going to show us through his, um, his sawmill. There's the sign up there, RS and GE Scott Sawmillers. Scott's golfers both know their woods. We cut trees, not teas. There you are. We build in timber. Got sawmillers, a truck waiting there to be loaded. We'll go inside and meet Gerald. There's a Michigan uh, model double five A there waiting to go to work. We'll learn about that shortly when we see Gerald. There's some timber over there waiting to be carted away. And we've got the logs here. This looks like where the truck comes in. The truck will come in. Uh, Philip Waring will be here shortly with his, one of his trucks uh, and he'll come in here and he'll uh, put the, lo the logs down here somewhere. There are the logs, they've all been washed. They're washed with this high pressure hose here. There's a high pressure water hose and they wash all the logs down, get all the mud off them and any loose bark. And they go down here to the breaking down saw. This is the breaking down saw, they call the breaking down saw, which, which cuts them in half uh, to a manageable side bef a size before they go over to the other saw. So there's two big blades there. Uh, we might get a look at that going later on. It's not going at the moment, and I'm just showing you around. Okay. So we'll go and find Gerald now. There's his truck number one. That's sitting there with a load of timber on. That's going into town to be treated. Uh, but we'll ask Gerald some more about that later on. This is all his um, oil and stuff. Uh, typical sawmill workshop. Uh, wire ropes there. Anything to do with timber. It's all there. The old tyres and stuff like that. A lot of history in this shed. Another customer just come in, taking away some timber. There's another car going out with a trailer load. They're coming and going here all the time. It's only a small sawmill, but by gee, it's busy already. And what's the time of day? It's uh, only quarter past nine in the morning. Okay, let's go and look at the sawmill. Right, here's some treated timber. Uh, it's sitting there waiting to be um, taken away. More timber over here. Some posts over there. I'll go and show you those. These are some stays. 2.4 stays over here. Here's some strainers. These are for fencing. When, you, when farmers are fencing, uh, good wooden strainers there. 2 by one by 175s there. Smaller ones here. This is all fencing material, large, 1.8 and 150s there, medium over here, 1.8, and some more there. These are strainers. Strainers, of course, is the big post on the corner or, or, or of a fence. Okay, I've done a bit of fencing myself in my day, so I've, I've put a few of these in. I know what I'm talking about here a bit, and I've worked in a bush too. Here's some more. They point the posts now and they drive them in with a driver. In my day, 
we used to dig a hole with a spade and put the post in and, and, and ram it with a rammer, uh, the, the earth. But now it's all driven in by, with a machine. We hope to, I'll show you uh, it in action at another site. There's some more lubricants there. There's a tank stand there of light diesel. Fuel is essential part of any sawmill. What have we got here? We've got some uh, bit of firewood there by the look of it. Nice little light firewood. And here's some more here. And here are the rings. These have been cut into rings, what they call rings, uh, ready for splitting. They'll split this. This is firewood here, right? You can see the split stuff over here. This has been split. And this is the ring here. Right? We're at Scott Sawmill in Geraldine. And I'm doing the story of timber. The tall story of New Zealand timber. And this is just one of many videos I'll be doing. There's some big pine block uh, logs there. Sitting there waiting to go into the sawmill. And here's some more over here. These belong to K1. I don't know who K1 is, but we'll find out. I'm sure he'll tell us. You'll notice there's blue markings on the end of these, uh, this timber, and there'll be a reason for that. You don't expect to find pumpkins for sale at a sawmill, but there they are. If you want a pumpkin, come out to Scott Sawmill in Geraldine, pick up a pumpkin, and a boot full of uh, kindling there for the fire. There's a crawler machine there, a Sumitomo. A Sumit... Sumito... Sumitomo, it's called. Produced by Spinnick. It's an SH-135X. Uh, and we don't know what he does with that, but there'll be a job for it. A lot of gear here. This is a this is a sawmill we're in, remember? Hello, what have we got here? Turnbull earth movers. Uh, they've got a truck in here with uh, one of those cherry pickers or something on the on the back of it. Uh, and there's Gerald's Ute by the look of it, sitting there ready to get ready to go to work. There's a big trailer over there, uh, and another one there. Okay, so just showing a, showing around what's in a sawmill. E50. I don't know what that does, but there'll be a there'll be an answer for it. Spray for dust. Okay, and there's a big trailer there for carting something. Okay, we're at Scott's Sawmill in Geraldine, and let's go in and meet Gerald. Just before we do go in and meet Gerald in the sawmill, uh, there's a bit of other stuff I should show you here. Dockings. There's a trailer load for $2 and a boot load for a dollar. There you are. Bring out the car, fill it your boot up with wood. Kindling, good little kindling wood. The look of it. Bit of timber there. Right, you'll see those uh, piles there. That's where timber will sit on that. The piles is to keep it off the ground. And they'll stack timber along here. Hello, there's an old grader there. Haven't seen one of those for many years, but there it is. It's sitting there. Anyone wants to buy a grader? It's sitting there waiting to be used. Okay, and over here we have some more timber. Let's wander across and have a look. Now here's what something I need is some garden stakes for the tomatoes. Looks like they'll be good garden stakes for the tomatoes. So when you're putting your tomatoes in this year, come out and get some stakes from Scott Sawmill and Geraldine. And there's some timber there and I'm sure you can buy this timber here on the site. Look at it all stacked up over there ready for sale. Okay. 
looking for some iron, there's some iron here, some old iron, you're sure Gerald will sell you the iron. Let's go over here and have a look over here. What have we got here? What are they, four by fours or something? Stacked there. They look like they're treated. Uh, Gerald doesn't do any treating in this sawmill, he, he gets it uh, all done in town. In Ashburton. There's some more garden stakes. And here's some concrete uh, where they put the, they'll stack wood on top of that concrete or timber on top of that concrete, I'm pretty sure. Across the road there, there's some plantings. I don't know what it is. Um, but there's some trees being planted over there on the next door neighbour, for the look of it. Okay. Scott's Sawmill in Geraldine. Come out and have a look. All you ever want in wood is here at Scott's Sawmill. Want to buy some sawdust? $10 for a truck and trail of 50 cents. There you are. Sawdust. It's all down there. You'll be able to buy the sawdust from here. Good for the garden too. And if it's untreated, it's better. Now these are called casings. They make these casings here. He's got a client that buys a lot of these casings off him. What's over here? We've got the forklift here. It uh, takes the timber in and out of the uh, sawmill there. You can have a look out here while we're outside at the, uh, the sawdust. This is the sawdust coming down, taking it out of the sawmill here, and it's coming down here. And this is where you come with your truck or your trailer uh, to get a load of sawdust. Not a lot there at the moment, but I'm sure it'll build up. While we're down this end, Gerald is down the other end on the uh, on the saw, uh, but we're watching the saw. Now this is where it's been cut into timber like this, right? It's all happening. Take your kindling ladies, if you want some kindling. It, uh, cut off cuts there. They point these points at sticks here, right? They've got this timber with points on them. Right? Now this is for the casings, I would say, or something. Okay. This machine here has got an elevator. So it's taking the timber up the elevator. Oh, okay, so there it is. Cutting it there, see? Little bits of timber have been cut off there. Right? Over there we've got all the switches and that. Uh, that's where the electricity comes from. Over there. Now we've got this timber coming down here. I'll just go around and see if I can get a better shot. There he is. He's cutting it off there now. Look. It's been fed down here. These are the offcuts. of the process, the bark and all that, and it comes down here, over there, and the saw cuts it off. There's, there's a bit of shot, there it is, it's been cut off here, and it's going up the, there, Right up into that hopper up there. Okay. We're teaching you this 
story of timber. This is the story of New Zealand timber. Coming to you live from the Traveller's Guide website. She's all belts and pulleys. This is the conveyor belt, which is taking the offcuts of the timber right up to this hopper up here. Okay, and there's a truck underneath here waiting to be loaded. It'll come down out of the hopper onto the back of the truck. Scott Sawmillers, treated timber and posts. There's the truck waiting to be loaded from this hopper. There's the power wires in there that brings all the power in. Okay. And here's the, um, the loader, the front end loader waiting to do some work. Now that looks like a big tank of water. That'll be his water supply. Scott Sawmiller, no children allowed. I wouldn't think so. Okay, so this is the water supply, the tank. Here's another shot of the Michigan uh, Model 55A waiting there. It's the front end loader machine. Michigan 55, Model 55A. Right, there's Scott's timber, terms and supply and payment. There's the office. Please ring for service. Unless prior arrangement and approval of management, normal credit criteria apply. Payment is due no later than the 20th day of the month following invoicing. Overdue accounts will incur penalty interest at the rate of 2.5% a month. Unpaid accounts will also incur our costs in instructing a debt collector or solicitor. Very important for the terms and conditions people understand that. Okay, so we'll go inside. This big saw is called the breaking down saw and that's where it cuts it in half into manageable smaller sizes and comes over here to be cut into timber uh, certain lengths and uh, widths of timber. Gerald just busy with the customer at the moment but we'll talk to him shortly. All the buttons and pulleys there and the red lights and stuff. G'day yeah, Gerald, Ron. how you doing mate? Good thanks. Hey, good to see you. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, thanks for bringing us out here, letting me come out there and video the sawmill. No problem at all. How old is it Gerald? Yeah. How old is the sawmill? How old is the sawmill? We've been here in the 30s, we will arrived here. Our family's been on sawmilling for maybe three generations. Is that so, right? Yes. The, uh, we took us over from our father. Right. Yeah, and he, his three brothers had both uh, all had sawmills. Did they? Uh, one, still one going, well two going, one in retire and this one here. Oh it's right. Still, still going, which is pretty good. Um, Under the Scott of, name? Yeah. Good on. the sawmills going around, it's still a, a good thing. Great achievement. Yeah. And you're only a two man band here? We are. Yeah, yeah and you, you churn out a bit of timber? Yep. Yep, good yeah, on you. Try to keep the grades right. Quality is good. Well, show us what you're doing there, Gerald, and we'll have a uh, take a shot. First of all, you're breaking down up there to get a uh, flat side to work on. Then we come down here uh, on the breast bench. And you it's side. called a breast bench. Yeah. Right. That's a breaking down bench over there. This is the breast bench, right? Yep. And the size your timber here. Size your timber. Yeah. Goes on the side of the side there, and then the outside it gets stripped out. The main thing when you're stripping the timber out is to keep the strip or uh, dead straight line. Oh, okay. Yeah, otherwise your timber will warp and carry on. Right, yeah. right. So you know all the tricks of the trade. Uh, oh, you, how many years you been doing it? <laughs> Since you were a child, eh? Yeah. Yeah, good on you. Up here. <laughs> Good guy, Gerald. Nice talking to nice people. Yeah, there is. There is breaking it down there now. And he pulls this cord. I'll find out what that cord does. Right, he pulls that cord every time it goes through.
coming out the other end. Looks about a 4 by, four by 1 or something. In the old language. Just sneak around the other end now so we can see it coming out the other end. We sneaked in here to have a look at some of the uh, saw blades there. This is, looks like his office. This is the um, moco room and all his notes and things there. Um, yeah, it's good. A little heater there. Oh, it looks like even with the beer down the boat below there for the boys. Fair enough. Okay, uh, spates it is. Don't forget, it's gold metal ale. So Gerald asked me to introduce you to the office girls. Here are the office girls. They're here to keep you warm in the winter. Okay, so these are the office girls at the moment. It's quarter to ten, you see. He's got a calendar here to know what time it is. And all his notes there. Good filing system, cup of tea there. I might get a cup of tea if I talk with you, talk him into it. Um, yeah, so good on your office girls. Thanks for showing us around. Now we've, we've seen the breasts. Now this is the breast bench. Okay? It's called a breast bench. This is where they make the breasts. <laughs> I don't know what the cord's for, I've got to find out what the cord is for. He pulls the cord every time one goes through, look, he's pulling the cord. A bit of a trolley there. See the offcut going in there? That's the bark side. That'll be cut up into smaller pieces. These are what they call 4 by 2s They used to be 4 inches by 2 inches, but I don't know what they call them now, but I called them in my day was 4 by 2 Then he pulled that cord again. I'm going down to find out why he pulled that cord. Gerald, why do you pull the cord? Opens the gauge up, returns everything. What's that? Opens the gauge up. Here, look at the gauge. Oh, he pulls the cord to open the gauge. Oh, I see. Oh, right. So that's why he pulls the cord, to open the gauge. It's all very simple, really, isn't it? Even kids could understand it. Hey? It's easy work, yeah.
Here it is. We'll watch this a bit closer here now. We now know what's happening. There's the gauge. He pulled it. To open the gauge and close the gauge. He's running on a trolley here. Look at that, eh? He's done it before. Gerald's done it before. Not the first time, Gerald. <laughs> It's an interesting business, the timber industry in New Zealand. We're very proud of our pine forests. And this will be pine that he's cutting up here now. The breast beach. Nothing to do with the office lady. Look at this, we'll watch this closely. Just like that. Like cutting butter. Must talk to him about the sharpening of the saws later. Oh, the truck's here, gotta go. The truck's here. Net wearing. Waring's arrived in with one of these trucks. There it is, Philip Waring Limited, contractors from Methven. They've arrived here with a load of truck, load of um, logs. Philip Waring is one of the biggest uh, logging contractors for cartage in the South Island. And here's one of these trucks bringing in uh, the, far, uh, the uh, wood, timber, for um, Scott Sawmill in Geraldine. You camera shy? I am a bit. This one put the sunblock on. Hey! Oh, he put the sunblock on. Bloody good idea. No way. What's your name? Ross. G'day, Ross. How you doing? You know Merv? Yeah. Merv Wilson? Yeah. He took me for a ride yesterday. Yeah. Bloody good bloke. Is that Hey? This is for no, no, yeah, I'm, I'm going to sell it, I'll sell the video. Oh, okay. I'm doing the timber, oh, New Zealand timber, story of New Zealand timber. Oh, okay. Here he is, you notice he's got a hard hat on here now. He's used to putting the hard hat on every time he gets out of the truck. Safety's first. Always have safety. Now he's taking the chains off. He's come in with the truck and trailer load. And we're going to watch him unload this uh, this load of logs. Chains around there. He's got the high ab there that'll that'll take the logs off. He's taking the chains off and he's hanging them up there. Right. We saw this yesterday with uh, Merv, Merv's truck, he was doing the same thing. This is an older truck of course, Merv had a new one yesterday. It's all modern, but it's pretty much the same. There he comes, he pulls on that, that's a bit tight, so he'll pull that down there. Okay, these are the chains that hold the logs on. You see a truck going along the road and they're full of logs. These are the chains that are holding it there. He's getting in the truck now and he's he's gonna get the the high ab going. Okay. He'll lift that up. We didn't see this yesterday. I was busy doing the forestry. So I didn't get to see this, but this is he's sitting up there, look. All right, mate, I'll just shift. Here it comes, look. 
here it comes. Here's the grab, what we call a grab. It's going to grab the logs. I'll just stand back because I don't want to get bloody wool. A log full on me. Okay. He's picking up those logs there. And he's stacking them there. Right? There he is sitting up there, working all the controls in there. He's taking the trailer off first, you see? He's unloading the trailer first. This is very educational and I hope it'll be seen all around the world. It's never been done before. Certainly hasn't been done at the Scots sawmill anyway. And I suggest that Philip Waring will be have the, this will be the first video he's ever had done uh, with this quality of uh, filming. Here they are, dropping this down here. Here he is, Philip Waring Limited, operator is Ross Cameron. Ross is driving this truck, this is a Kenworth. This is a Kenworth truck, very popular truck for logging contractors. Logging cartage transport. Okay, I'll get away now and, and let him carry on with his work. What time do the office girls cook this morning tea? Oh, we didn't put the jug on. Hey? Yeah, there's only one on deck, we just throw it for him. Oh, okay. I'll go, and, I'll go and put the jug on, he said. But the office girls are useless. They didn't even put the jug on. Where is the jug? Little chainsaw there. Makita chainsaw a little bit. I think that's what it is. We're reading it upside down, but little chainsaw is a good job for that. That's the boss's seat. On the microwave. Ah, there's the jug. There's the sugar down there and the coffee. Let's see if it's hot. Right, here's the wood coming down the hopper onto the truck. Here it comes down, look. Coming down onto the truck here. Look at that. Amazing. Now this is the breaking down saw. <coughs> this is, Gerald's going to cut this now. He's just cut that slab off there, you see? Off that log. So that's cut in about three quarters by the look of it. He rolls that over there. And he's bringing that log across like that. Okay. This is the breaking down saw. Now he's, he knows exactly what to do. Look, he's been doing this for years. The old axe there, and there's a crowbar. He just knows how to do it. Good to see a tradesman working, isn't it? Hup! Hup! There's still a bit of a... Uh, Still a bit of labour involved here, it's not all automatic, eh? Right. Here it goes, we're going to watch this saw go through there. Okay. There it is, cutting that off. Look at that. Breaking down saw. We're looking at 
at the Breaking Down Saw. This is the story of New Zealand timber. Ron Bishop's my name and I'm videoing the story of New Zealand timber. And we're at Scott's Sawmill and Gerald Scott, Scott is just using the Breaking Down Saw here uh, and giving us a demonstration for all you young students uh, that want to get involved with the timber industry. This is how it's done. Rolls it over there, pulls it with the axe. Look at that. Down there, straightens it up. Puts a block in there. Another block in there. This is the way they do it in the sawmill in 2013. A small two-man sawmill. Still a bit of heavy work to do. There's no chicken, Gerald. Right, but he's got a lot of experience. A lot of experience. Look at that. It's all done by eye. He straightens that up. The lever goes in there. He's lining it up for the breaking down. Thanks, Gerald. Good on you, mate. You've been a great sport. Thank you. Well, uh, good luck.